top of the morning to you. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to do a tie, catch, clean, cook. Now today's video, I'm going to be tying these guys right here. It's like a chocolate root beer color with a yellow chartreuse. And they are downsized. So, during this time, we have, uh, you want to downsize your bait. It's hot. They're not as aggressive. Um, so, I'm going to be doing a 132nd. So, sort of a... What's going on here? Okay. Okay, I'll make do. So, I'm going to clip the collar. Hmm, this is sort of... Okay, clip the collar. My thread got a little bit out. I'm going to overlay and wrap it around again um you know we always want our our jigs to be uh to come out good okay we have our base thread here and those we tucked in a little bit between the thread base and the ball here now the yellow feathers craft store dollar tree Dollar General, uh, just basically yellow craft. They're smaller, which for larger jigs may or may not work out. But, um, you know, so like for example, here we're going to be using like from here to here. Uh, sort of simple. I want to cut, you can cut either way. I like cutting from here towards the quill, towards the body. And the reason is that's just a natural layer of how it lays down. And so cutting up against that, I'm going to pinch, pinch a couple inches. Now this bait is going to be under two inches. If you're throwing over a two inch bait, that's too big. And look, right here, see that line right there? That's two inches on almost every given man from here to this seam here, right there. Jesus was a carpenter. So, okay, we're gonna place this here. I'm gonna clean up a little bit. There. Now then, I'm gonna loop around loosely. Ooh, we're losing some. Loop around loosely. That's ugly, that's ugly, but it's gonna be pretty out. And then come in. We don't want to go too far back. We're, what, what I'm doing now is I'm securing it. And from here to the head, I'm just trying to get all this loose stuff. Okay, so I'm going to come back here. Now we're going to pretty it up. See, I don't want to go all the way to my point here. So come back and loop through. Okay. Now with this vise, I can spin it. See, there's a little bit of yellow here. Honestly, that crappy is not gonna observe. Hey, there's a little bit of yellow there. I'm not gonna bite it because it's an instinct bite. Um, instinct bite, he's gonna see it, he's gonna want it. Okay, this tool right here, it's just fun to say, whip finisher. Whip finisher. You're gonna hook it. Go around your crook, pull it in, make you a dub, make you a figure four, and go one, two, clip. Okay, I'm gonna pull it back around the head, securing it, sinking it down, and then go one, two, three. That's pretty much it. I'm gonna snug it up and just for kicks and giggles, I will do two more. 
Okay, we got a little piece here. We go one, two. All right, all right, all right. Now then, gonna wet it down a little bit. You can stick that in your mouth, but if you do, remember, these are sharp hooks. So, that's pretty good looking there. Um, that's a little long, so I'm going to trim this up. And when trimming, you can cut like this, but I prefer to come back from behind so you have your angle of your tail and you're keeping the meat and the point. So then you come down, that sort of cleans it up a lot. And as it slicks down being in the water, I think it's going to be good. So here's our tie here for the day. So uh, tie, catch, cook, clean. And look, if after the tie, if I don't catch, we probably won't have the clean and cook. But... If you guys are interested, um, I'm not really trying to sling them or anything, but got some jigs for sale. Name, color, style, boom. Uh, $20, shipping included. All right, thanks again. We'll talk to you soon. Peace.